Nearly 1.5 million high school students nationwide experience physical abuse from a dating partner in a single year. One in three girls are a victim of physical, emotional or verbal abuse from a dating partner. One in 10 high school students has been purposefully hit, slept or physically hurt by a boyfriend or girlfriend. Only 33% of teens who were in an abusive relationship ever told anyone about the abuse. 81% of parents believe teen dating violence is not an issue or admit they don't know if it's an issue. About 1.5 million high school boys and girls admit to being hit or physically harmed in the last year by someone they are romantically involved with. One in three young people will be in an abusive or unhealthy relationship. 33% of adolescents are a victim of sexual, physical, verbal or emotional dating abuse. About 50% of young people who experience rape or physical or sexual abuse will attempt to commit suicide. Hello everyone, my name is Sibong Yele Gomani and welcome to Let's Talk with Sibong Yele. If it's your first time joining us, welcome to this wonderful show where we talk about things that affect you and me. Today's topic is one of the topics that is heavy and it is relevant and there's a need for us to be talking about this. Today's topic is teen dating violence. At the beginning of the video, I stated the statistics of teen dating violence and the likelihood of teen dating violence happening in high school environments. Today and every day of our lives, we complain about gender-based violence and we ask ourselves what is the solution and yet we neglect talking about where it all started. Many of the problems that we are experiencing right now and especially gender-based violence is because of the things that emerged and it started from an early age. Hence today, we are talking about teen dating violence. What is teen dating violence? Teen dating violence is a type of intimate partner violence that occurs between two people in a close relationship. Many people don't know about this because it is a usual or, or a norm for an individual whom you're dating to either hit you, to violate you in any other form. But this is an issue because, as I said, it continues to grow and make individuals to progress with violence from one partner to the other. Not only does it end up in the teen stage, but one grows with it and becomes an adult who tends to be violent and abuse their partner in different ways. Now let us look uh, at the teen dating violence behavior and what kind of type of behavior does it include. Teenage dating violence includes physical violence, sexual violence, stalking and psychological aggression. Psychological aggression is the use of verbal and non-verbal communication with an intent to harm another person mentally or emotionally. Stalking is a pattern of repeated and unwanted attention and contact by a partner that causes fear or concern for one's own safety or those around you. So, sexual violence is forcing or attempting to force a partner to take part in any form of sexual act, including sexual touching, physical um, touching in any form, or non-physical sexual touching such as sexting. Physical violence is when an individual exerts any form of physical force. 
The consequences of teen dating violence include experiencing symptoms of depression and anxiety, thinking about suicide, an exhibition of antisocial behaviors like bullying, theft, or hitting other people. Another one is engaging in unhealthy behaviors such as the overuse of tobacco, drugs, and alcohol. This video is mainly about provoking talks such as this. Provoking talks where we come up with solutions on the table on how we can go about reducing teen dating violence and also gender-based violence. Because I believe that it didn't start from the stage where we are old old and we have started this violence amongst each other or whatever gender that it may be but i believe that it started from a very young age and we need to start addressing it from that with this video i want to engage with you i invite you to my talks and i invite you to talk about your experience and shed some light on how you dealt about teenage dating violence or what you understand about this topic and what can be done. I believe that as we talk we will come up with solutions and the solutions will help us in dealing with such matters. This is Let's Talk with Simongile and let us stop teen dating violence.